leaving. This place holds nothing for me. Oh, give it a chance. Oh, come on. I mean, what about that guy? Oh. Oh. Well, his suit is nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a cyclops. Gorgeous. Mm, take the baby blue. He's looking at you. No, he's looking at you. No, he's looking right between us. Oh. So conceited. Let's get out of here. He's probably gay anyways. Well, you are the Greeks. Oh. So, uh, what were you doing there? Uh, I was thinking about inventory. You know, uh, cops and toilet paper and licorice. You know, inventory. Okay, good work. Let's continue. Well, it's really late there. You know, I was falling asleep. I always stick my head in the freezer so I won't fall asleep. May I suggest that in the future you do your sleeping during the daytime when you work the night shift? Hey, 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 look. At least he's not drinking the company coffee to stay awake. Good point. Look, if you're going to stick your head in the freezer to stay awake, I suggest you keep it uh, to under a minute. It's more energy efficient. Mm -hmm. Okay? Hey, All right. I will. Yeah, move on? Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. Do you have any straws left? No. No, there's none up to the container over there. I just need a straw. Please, sir, I don't want any trouble. <laughs> trouble? What are you talking about? Do you have straws? I said I don't have any straws. Look, I just need a straw. Would you get out? I don't have any straws! I'm sorry. Okay? Okay. Go! <laughs> this job's getting worse. concerned about how you reacted in that situation. You can't see it from the angle of the camera, but he had shifty eyes. He had crack eyes. Man, this guy was a crack head. What's this uh, crack? Oh, the, the new stuff? Mm -hmm. Okay. In that case, uh, I think you were way too slow. Listen, uh, that guy could have gotten off a couple of shots before you had the time to say uh, self-defense. Yeah, so in the future. Shoot first, ask questions later with these crack heads. Shoot first, ask questions later. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I think we only have one more piece of tape to review uh, yeah. before uh, we give you our decision, okay? okay. Uh, uh, is, this is this it? Is um, it? Uh, <laughs> is this it here? No, I've seen this. No, uh, this is also. No. No, uh, this, no. No, I remember the dog. It's after the dog. It's at, the shirt's after the dog? I think you missed it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, think, I think you. I think it's. I think it must be earlier. No, no, it's. Uh, sure? it's coming up. It's coming no, I think up. you missed it. I no, think we should go back. Oh, there. Really nice. Three dollars. I only have a twenty. Of you. Can you break it? Oh, sure. Big pain in the ass. Thank you. 
come again. Thank you. Face. <laughs> no, 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 there it is, there it is, there it is, okay. Okay, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this the, uh, is this the finger? Are you getting the finger? But he had the change. I know he had the change. My gut told me he had the change. It... Look, uh, we reviewed the tape uh, several times, and I'm sorry. I'm afraid we just can't give you that uh, 50 cents an hour raise you want. <laughs> but how am I going to live on 486 an hour? Like an extra 50 cents is going to get you that car you always wanted? <laughs> never gonna come out of it no I never said that oh no uh, what I said was there's a good chance he might come out of it we just don't know when could be a couple of days it could be a couple of years they gave it look brother Nitch Blum come out of it oh you sitting up there Did your mom pass me the salt? Well, he appears to be having some difficulty uh, getting the salt. No, no, you used to have to get the salt pretty good. So you're saying there's nothing we can do? No, I never said that. I said there's nothing we can do. That's what I said you said. <laughs> Did I? I'm sorry, you called me in the middle of a party. I'm a little drunk. Good luck. Could have been worse. Could have used to be smart. <laughs> I got an idea. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what went wrong. Always seem to work on the Flintstones. <laughs> Fat 
Fabio was on my flight that day. Of course it was a flight to L.A. Fabio's here, Fabio's here, my God, it's Fabio. And those were the guys. Everyone, everyone, everyone knew who he was. And I thought to myself, huh, it's a Fabio world. It's a big, strong, jawed, blonde hair blowing in the wind, rose for the lady, are you two sisters? Fabio world. Fabio's on board, he's eating a small package of salted peanuts. I wish he would eat me. And those were the guys. It is a Fabio world, but you know what? It's also a Brucio world. I am Brucio. I fall asleep with the TV on. I hate reggae music. I am Brucio. I eat spaghetti for breakfast. I call my mom collect. She doesn't care. She knows I'm Brucio. I get drunk and cynical. Twice a year I get so drunk I piss the bed. But I don't care, because I am Brucio. As we deplaned, which is a fancy word for get off the plane now, there was Fabio. I couldn't believe he was still on board. I thought that somehow he would have got there ahead of us. He was with the man with the sign that said, Fabio. I went with the man that had the sign that said, Taxi. <laughs> and as we were picking up our luggage, our eyes locked. And he gave me a look as if to say, I am Fabio. I stand before you strong. But inside, I am Fabio, merchant of self-loathing. I will be discarded one day, Bruce, in the bin with Rico Suave and... And the good-looking guy from Chips. Every time I kiss a quivering girl's hand, I ask myself, Fabio, is this your last one? But you are Brucio and always shall be. Tim O'Neill. Yes, yes, Mona Dakins, it is Tim O'Neill. Long time no see, eh? Yeah, I... Gosh, I haven't seen you since... Well, since high school. You haven't changed. Yes, I'm very lucky in that I've always looked 35. <laughs> so I guess you're wondering what I'm doing here. Well... I mean, we haven't seen each other in 15 years. We were casual friends in high school. You're married, I have two children. Mm -hmm. I'm married, I don't have any children, but I honestly blame my wife and don't think I'm sterile at all. <laughs> I meant to think that part. So, um... What is it you, you want, Tim? Uh, well, I ran into Kathy Davidson the other day. Oh, Kathy! Oh, gosh! Oh, she was like my best friend in high school. I know, we got to talking, the uh, conversation drifted over to you, and well... I admitted that I had a crush on you back in high school. Oh, yeah? And, well, Kathy said that you also had a crush on me. Oh, no. And so, here I am! Tim, um... High school was a very long time ago. It's important to remember that no, no matter what we felt back then, people do change. I know, I know. Let's make love! <laughs> Let's do it right now! Let's do it right here on the floor! Come on! Tim, please. We got to. I like you, you like me, but I didn't know. Now I know. Come on, let's do it. Don't worry about getting pregnant. I'm sterile. I lied. Look, Tim, I, I just don't feel that way about you anymore. I'm sorry. But it's not fair. It's not fair. Look, Tim, I, I, I don't care. I'm, I'm afraid you have to leave. I'm, my husband's going to be home any minute. He's taking me out for my birthday. Don't you see, Mona? We have a chance to right a wrong here. We have a chance... Not unlike the crew of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> to go back in a time and correct an error from the past. Come on, Mona. Let's pretend. What are you talking about, Tim? Mona, we're slingshotting around the sun back in time. <laughs> All the way back to 1979. We don't need no education. <laughs> hey, Mona. 
Oh, I get a chemistry class. Tim, don't be an idiot. Did you do your homework? Man, Alien is a cool movie. I wonder what the 80s would be like. Hey, let's screw. <laughs> yeah, screwing would be deadly. I dig you, you dig me. Dug you. Dug you, I dug you. And now I have buried you in my past. Do you understand? But it's not fair. We should have had sex. We should have had sex. Tim, are you going to leave? No, because it's not fair. Fine, then, Tim, I'm leaving. And I'm going to be back in five minutes with a cop. She's bluffing. She wouldn't call the pigs. <laughs> not the moon I now. Well, I'll give her something special to come home to. This is a good plan. <laughs> Hey, who the hell are you? Get him! Oh, Ruby. Do you like some more coffee, dear? Oh, oh no, thank you, Franny. No. Uh, hey, by the way, I, I like my coffee with water, not just crystals. Oh, <laughs> Lordy me, where's my head? <laughs> Here, have a peek, Freen, then. <laughs> Come on. Fran, that's a plate of hair. Oh, that's for dinner. <laughs> Fran? Jeez. Oh, is there something troubling your pet? You seem a little bent out of shape. Yeah, Ruby, I'll tell you, something is going on. Oh. You know, every night I'm going to bed earlier than usual, and yet I wake up completely exhausted. I feel like a cat in a microwave. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Franny, yeah. this puts me in mind of a chilling Scottish yard my mother used to spin back home in Glen Cardiff, Gary. Oh. Yeah, it seems yeah. that the horses of the village of Glen Cardiff, Gary, were discovered every morning to be covered in mud and sweat, oh. as if they'd been ridden all night. But yeah. nobody had ridden them. Not even the village moron, Glenda. No. <laughs> oh, oh. The legend says yeah. that the horses were being taken at night by the yeah. banshees to fight their eternal battles against oh. the fairies of Aberdeen Dean. Oh. <laughs> Maybe, Fran, because of your uh, horsely features, you're being ridden at night by the banshees. <laughs> Do I really look like a horse? Oh, just your face, love. Oh. <laughs> you know, Ruby, I have to confess something to you. I am so jealous of you. Oh. Why didn't you? Well, you know, it's because, you know, you know you're know, you Scottish, and you've got all these lovely tales and yarns and remedies from the old country, and they sustain you. Ah, yeah. You know, what have I got? Nothing. Oh, nonsense, Fran. Your heritage is Scottish, isn't it? Well, I think it is. Fran, you don't think you're Scottish. You know. <laughs> oh, jeez, Ruby. What, 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 what? Oh, I'm going to confess something to you. Oh, Fran. This is hard. Okay, no. Ruby, I'm a foundling. <laughs> you're a foundling? Yeah. For all I know, I could be Italian. Oh, Fran. <laughs> I type. I don't think so. <laughs> well, Ruby. The story goes that one night my parents found me outside their doorstep wrapped up in farmer sausages. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it was depression and there were no social services then, so they took me in and they raised me as their own. Fran? Yep. This puts me in mind of another chilling Scottish no. show. The ones that my mother used to tell me about the fairies of Aberdeen Dean, oh. who, as I'm sure you know, were eternally pregnant. You see, all a male fairy had to do was whisper the word yeah. and a girl would find herself in the family way. Oh. So, in order to deal with their population explosion, yeah. they were constantly leaving their wee ones on the doorsteps of mortals wrapped in farmer's sausages. Oh. The coincidence is too much. Oh. Fran, you're a fairy! <laughs> and it's the best heritage of all pet. Well, next to being Scottish. Oh, what a fine how do you do? Oh, quite good. And moreover, what? they say that when a foundling yeah. goes through the change of life, uh -huh. as I'm sure you must be by now, pet, yeah. that the fairies will return to take her back to fairyland. What'll I wear? Oh! <laughs> Fran, it doesn't matter. You're going to fairyland. Oh, really, oh. Ruby? No, Fran, no. I, God, you're so naive. I'm pulling your leg. None of these things are No, no. The 
they're not true? No. Well, then, what's the point of all your yarns and tails and such? Well, Tim, peel the people's legs. You know we Scots just love to tease. Well, I don't find that funny. Oh, I don't. I like my humor more physical. You know, like jumping around, falling down on fruit, passing wind. <laughs> Fran, you are Italian. <laughs> no, but he, uh, Where did that come from? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Fran, this puts me in mind of a chilling Scottish yarn. This one about a stinking dancing Italian who won't be. If you don't mind, dear, I think I've had enough of your chilling Scottish yarns for one day. Oh. If you don't mind, I think I'm going to go next door and visit Maria Ciccone and see if I can get that pigeon pie recipe from her. Why? Well, I've been ignoring her for 17 years. It's about time that we got to know each other. Would you like to come? Uh, no, thank you. I think I'll take a rain check. Oh, would you like that certified? Oh, I see. Cheap squat. Uh, that's very funny, Francesca. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you next week. Uh, not if I see you first, you garlic-eating baby factory. <laughs>